come to physics and mathematics lovers. Uh, before us here is a question of composite and uh, mapping. And uh, the question reads, let f be a function defined on x mapped to y. And g is a function defined on what y mapped to what z. B what mappings on the set of what real numbers defined by f of x equal to x plus 1 and g of y equal to what? y plus 1 all squared. Find the composite what? function, which is what? g o f. Okay. So solution. Solution. So you, you state your value that are given. Means of in this our mapping, we are having f of x to be what? f of x equal to what? x plus 1. Then we also have in this mapping g, we have a g of y equal to what? y plus 1 all squared. Remember I told you that g o f g o f is the same thing as what? g f. What this means is that what? g f now. g o f or g f. It means that we are going to have what? f of s. Now f is defined on the set of real numbers here on this word function. So which means this will now give us this will now imply that we now have g f of x. All right. So since f is defined on the set of real number in this word map, so it means that what whatever we do now, this g will be outside now. Then f of x will be what inside. Meaning that we are going to bring in the value for f of x. What is the value for f of x? Look at it here x plus 1. So at the end of the day, it's not give us, it's not become g now functioning. What is the value for uh, f of x? It's what? x plus 1. Okay. But remember that what? g is a function of what? We have g of y. Remember, we have g of y as equal to what? y plus 1 or square. So if g of y is equal to this, and I have everything now here in this bracket here, it's not acting as if it is y. Are you getting it now? So that is how we are going to do. What we are going to do now, we are going to plug in this one in place of y. Since here we have just y here. So it means that whatever y is, we are going to put this value here. So substitution. So what we do now, it will not give us, uh, which is our, now remember it is gof now we are looking for. Remember. The one that is giving us all these ones, which means your GF, rather, GF, GF or GOF will now give us equal to now. Since we are not having, as, uh, having it as G of this X plus 1 now, then we plug it to the original function of uh, G, which is uh, Y plus 1. So in that place of Y, you put what? X plus 1, okay? Then we have another plus 1 inside, okay? There's another plus 1 here, then all squared. So what you do now, you open the brackets. Okay. Then you can just okay, can use one bracket here to, to differentiate this here. Then this one is bigger brackets. Okay. So it means that well, this one is your y. It's your y here. Then representing what this one. Then this original one that is already there. Then you break it down. So at the end of the day, we are going to open the brackets. Opening this inner bracket, we are going to have one plus one here, which means we're going to have x plus um. 2. We have x plus 2 all squared. Alright, so this year we are going to expand this now. Let's expand. Expanding this now means we have x plus 2 plus that bracket what? x plus 2. Okay, now let's open the bracket. This x multiply this gives you what? x squared. x times 2 gives you what? 2x. 2 times x gives you what? 2x. 2 times 2 gives us what? 4. Now we have x squared here. Bring it down. x squared. Then here we have 2x two plus 2x. Two that is what? Plus 4x. Then here we have a plus 4. So our answer now, our g, g, o, f, or g, f, as the case may be. See that? You put it this way or you put it this way. It's equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is our final answer. So if you find this class very interesting,
do not hesitate to share this video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Physics and Mathematics Lovers. God bless you. Bye.